and for her to do it Do you have a favorite country you've been to? Yeah, uh, the first uh, seven, eight years actually for me, number one, uh, the most beautiful, amazing landscapes is Norway. Norway? In the Europe. Incredible, beautiful, the mountains, the fjords, and uh, also the snow or even the glaciers between the mountains. It's incredible. But then later when I was cycling across Africa, I was falling in love in South Africa. I really love that country. Amazing, beautiful landscapes, very friendly, very hospitable people, and oh, I have a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, history from that, that country. A lot of really, really positive stories. And you, you, do you have a date, or when are you gonna continue traveling, or when are you gonna stop traveling? No, I try to talk about that. I do this with I love. At the moment, I don't understand it. Yeah. Maybe in some place I will stop to even start write the book about that uh, journey. Uh, because, yeah, it would be good to share with other people all that stories. Amazing stories, which can show for many people that this would be uh, what they watching in the news. Uh, in the news, generally you have 70 to 90 percent just bad stories about killing, stealing, terrorism, and other shit. Yeah. But that's world, interesting you mentioned that because the uh, world is much more beautiful, and uh, yeah, I love. It. And so, uh, why do you think very beautiful that? singing about that? The Louis Armstrong. And I love that song. Well, why do you Beautiful. think the media tries to make believe the, 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 the public that the world is such a dangerous place to, to travel? Because the the best selling, the best story. People don't want to listen about friendly people, hospitality people. Uh, they won't hear about wars, killing, stealing, and other shit. I don't know why, but it's working like that. And okay, for many people it's even good business because then people can sell it cameras, uh, which can uh, watch in the home, can uh, selling I don't know guns, uh, weapons, uh, some security systems, some uh, like uh, anti bullets, uh, doors, windows, or cars. <laughs> Maybe it's. That way, some kind of business, yeah. So, so fear and horror is is a great business. For um, for many people, yes. But I'm happy that I live in my tent. Generally, I have no TV in my tent. I'm happy with that. <laughs> you threw, you got rid of the TV a long time. No, ago. no. Even even if in the future uh, I will settle down, I I dreaming to build up. the uh, wooden house and instant the TV place I will have just fireplace and instant watching just TV news or movies I won't speak with my family telling stories sharing the, the, the feelings from, the, from their life yeah from my life talking not just watching excellent So how do you how do you like uh, Cuenca so far? Wow, I'm uh, like third day and I'm more and more in love in that city. Really nice. Um, the the beautiful I I checked through that one thing, but second thing, also the street art, which I think uh, is giving soul for the. For the architecture, because uh, me, I, I, I have a little like a, like a, an opinion that the even can be very beautiful city with very beautiful architecture, 
but without the music it's like a dead city it's a city without soul i think generally the music is giving soul and like like here uh, i can very often hear the the local music yeah the the national music or me okay i play like uh, many international music but it's also kind of soul for that place and yeah i like it Now, I ran into you a couple times, although I never talked to you, in Quito last month. Yeah. How long were you there for? Oh, <laughs> one month. <laughs> so, long time. Uh, but um, actually, mostly for me, it was an occasion to earn, earn money for continuing the journey, yeah? Uh, because there was quite a lot of tourists. And, uh, and so, for me, it was an occasion to earn money. And that's why I will stay so long time. And all your income comes from playing, yeah. playing guitar. All your income, all your money. Yeah. That's yeah. how you pay your travels everywhere yeah, yeah. you go. On the, on the way, uh, it was a few times when I worked like uh, in my profession, I'm a carpenter. So once in uh, Norway, second time in uh, England, and third time on uh, Cyprus, I worked like a carpenter. And. Uh, yeah, like the, the, the first time when I was working in Norway. Um, actually, I wasn't planning that, uh, working in Norway. But I can say the work, the work was fine, my, uh, was fine me. Uh, I stopped in, in San Marina just before the Oslo, the capital, uh, because uh, the water was finished. So I was fill up the water. And then I saw that in the, in the marina, they have a shower. And I asked the, the guide, Oh man, sorry, pl uh, please can I can I use the shower here because last one week I had no occasion to uh, wash all my body. Eh? And he said, no, no, it's only for the people which have their boats here. I said, okay, what I can do. And he sold my bicycle and he asked me, oh man, but where are you traveling? I said, bicycling around the world. How you get money for that? Oh, I live from play music on the street. Oh, what? You don't have your uh, any profession? No, I have good profession. I'm a carpenter. Oh man, my friend just looking for carpenter. A few days later, I will start work in Norway for really good money. And finally, I spent there almost one year, eleven months. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> And then next winter I stop also in England, uh, working like a carpenter also. Yeah.